Hey guys and gals out there on YouTube, how y'all doing today? All we got here is we got a Lego Star Wars set 75235, um, 132 pieces. This is one of the four ups. It is supposed to depict the X-Wing versus a trench run from the Death Star. Um... Yeah, there's been a lot of negative reviews about this one. Um, anyways, it does have Luke Skywalker. There he is. And, of course, on the back, it shows everything that's in the set, supposedly. You got Luke Skywalker, got R2-D2, rather nice looking one on that one. And the typical looking Stormtrooper with a new style helmet. There's the uh, X-Wing build. This looks like the build from the back, um, where Obi-Wan Kenobi disables the tractor beam, I believe. And then, of course, this is one of the guns from the uh, Death Star. I'm not sure what containers are. And I'm not sure what the discs are here either. I've never had a four upset. It's got the Darth Vader here in the top corner. Let's go ahead and uh, let's see. It's got the pull tabs. No, it's actually a tape cell. Here's a little tag from our local Fred Meyer store. Okay, let's get to it here. I'm going to go ahead and uh, I'm gonna change up, use a razor knife today. Good old Stanley 99E. There it is. Made quick work of that tape there. Let's open up the flap and see what we got here. All right, all right. There it is. Looks like three bags, and it's empty. As you can see, let's toss the box. Oop! There it goes. Let's take a look at the instructions. Here. I don't see any stickers on this set. So everything must be printed. And there's the instructions. Um, the back still has a typical robot on it. And still got the little green shirt guy on the front. And pretty basic instructions. Looks a little bit oversized here, but maybe it's it's a big maybe it's a big build. Okay. Anyways, we'll go ahead and uh, get this done in one and a two and, and three. Well, here we got the uh, X Wing build. Um, let's let's start with the minifigs. Got Luke Skywalker here. Uh, pretty, pretty nice actually. Luke, it's got a dual printed face. Got the sort of matte colored silver lightsaber hilt. I know it's nice, very nice detail helmet. It is not the dual molded though, and the reason I bring that up is because our stormtrooper here is in fact the dual molded one. So he can't turn his head at all because his head is too big for him. Has the angry clone face underneath. It's got not a stud shooter, but an actual blaster, which is cool. Nice, clean looking stormtrooper. But see inside here? I actually like the look of this helmet. It's just, it's just, I mean, a really beautiful helmet. It's just simply too big. It looks, I think, ridiculous. He can't turn his head. I mean, it's just, it's oversized. But still... And then, of course, we have R2-D2 with the printing going off sideways on this head, which is very typical. No printing on the back. Very, It's a nice, clean-looking one, except for this, but I don't know. And, of course, you know, look how much larger he is. He's really supposed to be in the universe. But anyways, let's get to the rest of the build. We have here this one in place, which is... From the video, this is intended to be a target. These are to be knocked down. Same with this piece here. They break loose from these two by two centering plates. And this has got this big slit in the front. So I, what you do is you take these little plates and push it through the back, and just push it all the way through, like so, kind of pops out the front. Now let's get to the X-Wing fighter. Um, hmm. It uses this one single piece that looks like a boat, but it's got holes in it, so I don't know. I put the extra lightsaber hilt on the back of it, it's got the little, one little holding piece back there. Uh, you know, these open up, they could open up too much, so I don't know. But it's got the little clicky, so that's about where it should be right there, I believe. 
There is no stickers. I forgot to mention that, but there is no stickers. Everything is printed detail, including the control panel and here. So that's kind of cool. Give you some pieces that are uh, not sticker control panel in here. Also these, these towel here. These bricks here. All printed. Look at that. Kind of cool. And the nose piece here is printed. So that's actually really nice. Not a single sticker in here. That's kind of cool. My biggest problem with this X-Wing Fighter probably, and probably everyone's, is this. Uh, very odd. Very odd. The canopy here. Let's put Luke to the side to see what I'll take away his lightsaber. Let's set Luke down at the side. It doesn't actually have a seat, it just sits right on these studs, which means his legs could be pulled loose and just closes down. It's completely exposed. I guess you could call it swooshability, you know. Let's see where this goes though, because I'm concerned about the fact it's open. See what I'm Well, you know, being a four set, I guess it's designed for simplicity, but I was just concerned about hey, what happened to Luke? It's open up. Oh my goodness, look. This is a danger of being in a canopy that is not sealed out from space. He doesn't look so good now. He's like, it's lost a lot of weight. So apparently, this isn't going to work. We're going to have to change the type of pilot based on this canopy here. And here we go. What we have here is uh, the new improved pilot. We put his handheld radio here on the back instead of a lightsaber because he doesn't need a lightsaber, this guy here. And he doesn't have to worry about the fact that his canopy is open. He can fly around with it open because what we have here is we have the little astronaut from the original Lego 1977 sets, or 78 probably. This is actually one of my childhood uh, many figures I still have. So see, there we are. We've solved this dilemma. The only problem is he probably doesn't know how to use a blaster or a lightsaber. Anyways, if you guys enjoy this review, uh, give me your thoughts, give me your concerns. Give me a follow, give me a comment. This is a set 75235. This is a four-up set, so we just had some fun here, uh, being a little bit sarcastic. I do actually like the minifigures, and in all, I am actually dead serious when I say that these are printed pieces. And some of these could be quite useful especially like these on mocks maybe but it is also a 30 dollars set so anyways stay safe until next time ciao